Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for a little tutorial on a little finishing touch you can add to your album. So I've been working on this um, Summer On My Mind album. So the papers are from Graphic 45 and the kit itself is from Cool Cats Crafts. And it's the frame album. And there is a walkthrough of this that you may have already seen. But I wanted to take you to this back piece. So for this album, I used the 12 by 12 patterns and solids and a pad of the 8 by 8 uh, regular collection. And when I came to the end, I do so many of the patterns and solids that I had lots and lots of 8 by 8 sheets left. So I've still got a couple of just full sheets of 8 by 8. <coughs> Excuse me. And in the past, I've shown you how to make these little photo wallets using the envelope punch board. And they fitted three by four photos. The problem was that to make a six by four, you needed to use an eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. But I found a way around that. So I have been making some. And I've got some, so I actually have four of the black from the patterns and solids. There's another one in the album at the moment. So from one 12 by 12 sheet, I've had four three by four inch wallets for those photos. So some are decorated, some are just plain. Some have got flaps so that you can tuck them over your pockets like that. So they're just fun little versatile things. But like I said, I've got some six by four ones now. So here's a couple of where I've stuck them down. And this one had the flap, but I've actually added a policy holder to it. And of course, that's just another option you could do it. But that does add bulk then to your wallet and minimizes where it can go. But because I had this deep pocket here, I was able to uh, do it fine. And on this one, then I added a tuck spot as well onto the front, just because I had one of these pieces left. So those are my six by four photo wallets. So let's go ahead and make a couple. So they're really, really easy to make because it's just like making an envelope. Let me just grab my punch board and it comes with the scoring tool and it comes with a corner rounder and all the measurements are printed on here as well so you don't even have to think or go searching for anything so first thing i do need to do though is cut my papers down to eight by eight because with the graph 45 we have this name strip here Let's move it out the way. So eight inches. And eight inches. And if we have a look at the measurements, you'll see that uh, let's have a look. Four by six. Here we are. Oh, four by six. We need an eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. But obviously, my papers are only eight inches. But then I realised that, well, actually, that's designed for six by four card. And six by four photos tend to be a little bit um, smaller. And there's no thickness like. A cardstock so I tested it out using the same measurement but with my 8x8 and, and it actually worked so when I go to my 6x4 it says to 3 and 3 eighths so it's 3 1 2 3 and 3 eighths I'm just gonna punch and score so that's so all I've done is take my paper to 3 and 3 eighths and then there's a little trough, a little crease where I can take my scoring tool and score down. 
And that is all the measurements I need to do for these envelopes. Because what I do now, I rotate it anti-clockwise. And there's this little score guide here pointing. And I'm going to line that up with the score line I did. Now this little watermelon inside paper is just great for this. So I've just punched and scored. I turn it around, line up that score guide, and I punch and I score. And the last one, once more, punch and score. And what you've got to realise is that it'll end up as being a diagonal. The interesting one was um, this one, because on the paper, all of these went diagonal, but then once I made the wallet, they were all in nice straight lines. So that's what's good about this um, watermelon seed one, is it's a non-directional, the seeds are just everywhere. Right, so now what we're going to do, oh, those are the four pieces of waste. You need to decide if you're gonna have it a portrait or landscape. So I like the um, uh, portrait. So I'm gonna corner around at the top and bottom. And so for that, I'm just gonna place it in my tool again. And it's just rounded off those corners. You can do all four, but there's no need. Now I'm just going to just gently burnish. You can see I'm not scoring really hard. I'm not pressing down. I'm just gently going across. And whilst these two larger pieces are here, I'm going to just mark this top one where they meet. I'll take my scissors. You could use your trimmer. But I'm just going to cut between those two pencil lines. And an optional extra, but I think it worked really well for highlighting um, the shape of your wallet is to ink the edges. So I'm just using my uh, black soot distress ink. all the edges quite dark because I want the shape of it to stand out you see what I mean In a second this. I should have one more to do. There we go. Oh, and fold them all. So that is everything prepped. And don't worry about the inside of this, you're not actually going to see it. This is the top of mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to glue this flap down. Get nice and flat. Go. And then the piece I haven't cut, I'm going to bring in and then it's going to come over. Now I'm just going to move it back just slightly and do a pencil line. There we go. So that is where my glue is going to go. So I'm going to put it inside that triangle 
And I'm also going to go down the straight edge. So when they come together, it'll give us a good seal. And then just around this triangle tip, not too close to here, otherwise you can get glue, gluing it all shut. So we've got glue on the tip, glue on the edge of that, so it's going to give us a good seal. And press that. So you can see why I went so dark, so you can actually see the shape of that envelope, just for some interest. And there we go, that's your photo wallet done. So I've got a 6x4 photo here, and as you can see, the 6x4 photo wallet, a uh, photo, just slides inside. So you could add one of the ephemera cards there, so you could uh, journal what's in it. So that's one way you can do it. And the other way is exactly the same setup. Three and three eighths. Punch and score. Line it up. Punch and score. So once you're in the rhythm of these, those eight by eight pieces of card or paper you had left over, you weren't sure what to do with. All of a sudden, have a purpose. So, I said last time, I went for, you could do this method by just gluing that one down and then oh, bringing that one up and gluing those two on and just cutting off that piece or folding over that piece. You may have to have a go with that. But I don't know, I, I think I prefer them that way. Um, so this time, Okay, I'm just going to curve those two smaller triangles. And we're just going to gently burnish. So let's take that ink again. Oh, oh, I haven't cut this one, so and close those two side pieces. There it is, and cut. So you can see how the paper was this way and you had your watermelons, but now it's sort of straightened them up. So they're going like um, in horizontal lines rather than those diagonals which they originally had. So I think that's why I stay away from um, straight lines or papers with straight lines. There we go. side. So this time, because the inside is a non-directional, it works a little bit better. I'm just going to slide this back a little bit. There go. And put some glue inside our triangle and down this straight edge. And the looser you stick this, the more uh, photos you can stick in. So if you're going to press it right down, you're only going to fit one or two photos in. If you just let it sort of rest, it sort of bows and you get more space. So now 
over that V and around that V. And again, just gently fold it. So this time I'm actually leaving that flap open. And what that does, when you put it into your album, you can use it to tuck it into places. Or if we go in here, no, that's too short. Ah, here we are. So if I was gonna put it there, it's a sort of flap so you can see you've got a place to pull it off. And here, tuck in behind that water. Ah, here's the other one that I talked about earlier. You can tuck in there and it can have. So that is your second way of making it. So you've got your stuck down version, your lifting flap, and then if you've got depth and space, of course you can add a policy closure too. So I do have a photo card, do I want to add it? So the three by four photos, uh, journal cards fit onto the front. The new five by, uh, six by four would also fit because that's the size of photo we're putting in. So they're nice and easy to decorate if you've got the journal cards. And again, it just remains nice and flat. And of course I could put it the image side up or I could put it that way up. Actually, do you know what I think? Let's do it, let's, let's put it so that we can journal on it. So you can write down then on this, what the photos inside this pouch. What's it be? There we go. And there we go, that's our uh, six by four photo pouches made. I say, these are great for tucking into your pockets or just on their own. And a great way of using up your eight by eight papers as well. So thank you for watching and hopefully now you've got definite ideas on if you've got your 12 by 12 you can make four of these if you've got an eight by eight piece you can make a six by four they're just great ways of using up those last few pages that you've got at the end but also making them usable so thank you for watching if you do have a go i'd love to see them and um, just share it with me in my facebook group called paper crafting with paul there'll be a link in the description below or these way just type paper crafting with paul into your facebook search and you just answer a question and i'll let you in um and please also leave some comments below i do like to read what you think of the project so thank you for watching and i'll see you all again soon